All right, second grade, today we are continuing working on our Aboriginal dot paintings. Today's the day that we're actually gonna start adding some dots to our painting. Um, if you haven't gotten this far yet where you have cut out your animal and glued your animal on, we need to do that before we can start painting, okay? So here's my lizard. Today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be planning out two things where we want our circles to go and what color we want our dots to be. So if you remember, Aboriginal dot paintings often had circles in the background um, as well as all the dots, of course, okay? So you're gonna be planning this out with different size circles. Now here are some things that you can use to trace that I have. I have a paint palette. Now, if you use a paint palette, please make sure you dry it off because sometimes they're wet from other kids that have used them for painting. I have this little blue um, bowl or dish of some sort. And then even smaller, I have another little blue cup, okay? So decide how big you want your circles to be. I worked on one yesterday where I used this big one and the blue one. I'll show you what I did there. You can see the pencil lines and what I did was I just planned out first where I wanted this to go, okay? And then I used the smaller one on the inside of all of those, okay? So that's one example. And for this one, I wanna decide, because my lizard is taking up a lot of space, so maybe for this one I wanna do some smaller circles. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide, okay, maybe I do a big circle here, here, kind of plan it out. Maybe I throw some smaller circles in there and I want you to talk to your partner, okay? This will be your painting partner about your ideas. Okay, I wanna use the smaller one. What do you think if I do this? See what they think, okay? What I want you to do is make sure that none of your circles overlap each other okay, or basically crisscross. And I also want to make sure that you don't draw on top of your lizard so it can look like they go in the background. I also want you to talk to um, your partner about what color paint you might use and why. So remember, whatever color paint you pick has to be a color that you can see in nature, okay? So I'm gonna paint with green. Can anyone think of somewhere where you would see the color green that God created in nature? Um, Emma, what do you think? Grass. Yeah, grass. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the green. So I'm gonna do some circles this size and this size. So I'm gonna do kind of a bigger one, and then here I'll do a smaller one. And I know you can probably barely see my pencil lines, but that's good. We don't want to really be able to see our pencil lines because we're going to be painting on top of this. Um, if you have light paper, like the one where I did with my kangaroo, you can see my pencil lines. So make sure you draw super, super light with your pencil on the white paper. On the brown and black paper, it doesn't matter quite as much because you can barely see it. As long as you can see it, that's all that matters. I'm just making sure anywhere that I trace my circles, if it's gonna overlap my lizard, I'm not drawing on top of his tail and on top of his head, okay? Okay, now step two is to talk to your partner about those colors. Um, and then you go get those colors in one of these paint palettes. So let's pretend my partner decided on red because she thought of um, red flowers, okay? So then I would go get green and red for my partner and I, and you don't need paint brushes today. You're gonna actually use a Q-tip, which are in the second grade box I will show you. So the next step, the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna outline our lizard or whatever your animal is with, this, with these dots. So just like you saw in the video, I'm gonna make dots around, and if I don't press down all the way, I see more paint and less of this kind of a dot, okay? So when I'm getting my paint, I'm not pressing down all the way, and I'm also leaving just a tiny bit of space. I'm gonna go around his little feet. I'm trying not to get paint on his body, okay? 
I want it to be on the brown part. I can usually dot at least four or five times before I really need to go back and get more paint. So we want to work diligently on this, but also carefully, okay? It's something that is going to take a long time, just as you can imagine from what you watched on the video. So we don't want to work slowly and slow it down even more than we need to. Okay, let's pretend I went all the way around my lizard, okay? Just like I went all the way around um, my kangaroo next is to do your circles so i'm going to find all of my circles and i'm going to do green dots on the circles. so today you are only using one color and i know that sounds kind of boring but we're going to get to add all kinds of fun colors to our different layers so our goal first is to just get one color done so we know where we're starting with with our outlines of all of our circles okay so we're just gonna go ahead and pretend that I went all the way around this circle with green, this one, this one, and this one, okay? Which I know you can't really see them, but I've got you know my circle over here as well. Okay, when you're done with all that, you're gonna put your paint palette in the sink and I'm gonna have somebody whose job will be to clean those up today for you.